Hi, and welcome back to a new tutorial. So today we're gonna to be talking about um, creating matchmaking sessions within your event. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna then either click on your event that you wanna add a matchmaking session to, or again, you can create a new event, whichever one you need to do. For this example, we're gonna use the Dallas, Texas social media event. And in order to create a matchmaking event, you first need to click on activities. And whenever you go to activities, you are given three, three options, matchmaking, workshop, and plenary sessions. Um, for this example, we're just going to be talking about matchmaking, but we will talk about workshops and plenary sessions in the future. So in order to create a matchmaking event, you first got to select matchmaking. Now, whenever you um, click on matchmaking, you'll be brought to this activity information page. And from there, you have to first select your activity type. And you're given two options. You're given a non-strategic and a strategic method. So before we dive into the difference between non-strategic and strategic, uh, let's talk first kind of a little bit about the, the layout of what matchmaking is. So a good way to think about our matchmaking sessions are very similar to speed dating. Is For this example, this Dallas, Texas social media event, it is a event where entrepreneurs, small business owners, can connect with social media experts in order to either get advice or connect with social media experts that can help them grow their business. And so because we're opening up a matchmaking session within this event, it is going to be a chance for these entrepreneurs to almost interview and, and talk and feel out these different social media experts to see if any of them would be good fits for their business um, and good fits to help them grow their business using social media. And so these matchmaking tools can be really, really beneficial, not only in the social media space and, and from the business to the client space, but also from the standpoint of, you know, like uh, big corporations trying to find different types of help within different types of industries. You can use it to find new employees, new consultants. You can use it to find um, different ways to grow and expand your business. And you can also use it really as a mass interview platform of interviewing a lot of people at once in a very effective way. And so in, in regards to that activity type, we have two, two choices. We have non-strategic or the manual option. And then we have strategic, which is the automated option. Non-strategic is a manual option of doing it. And so the way that non-strategic works is that the, um, the business that would be doing the, the kind of interviewing of the clients would have the option to manually go through and see which people they want to meet with. So if you have a list of, if I am an entrepreneur and I own my own company and I'm attending this event, I can look at the list of social media experts that will be attending and I'll be able to say, okay, I want to have a matchmaking meeting with these 10 people and I can manually select that. And so this is a good way to do it if you're just wanting to manually do it, if, if you don't want to leave it to the algorithm. But our, our other option of doing it is strategic and strategic is the automated way of doing it. And how we do this is we use keywords, we use descriptions, we use the NAICS code. Um, different types of variable, variables that uh, determine what type of business you're in, what type of service you offer, and what type of products you sell. And we use the, that information and we use an algorithm to place different types of people to have meetings with different types of companies. So it's much more al algorithmic. It's much more strategic. It's not just kind of shooting in the dark and manually selecting people based off of the little information that is provided. So it really depends on what you're wanting. It depends on what you're looking for. But strategic is a really great option to do it. But if you're wanting more of a manual approach, non-strategic is certainly an option as well. So once you've decided which option you want, whether non-strategic or strategic, you're going to then name your, your, your session. So I'm going to name mine um, social media marketer matchmaking session. And again, this is going to be visible to the public. So make sure to name it something that you can be, it's easy to understand. And then for description, it's the same type of thing. So I'll say
I'm just going to say matchmaking session to pair small business owners and entrepreneurs to social media experts to help them grow their business. And so now is for the participants list. And so we have two participants lists that are attending this event. We have the people that fall into the social media experts and influencers category. And then we have the entrepreneurs, small business owners category. And so these are the people who have the entrepreneurs and small business owners are the people who are going to be listening to the pitches. These are the people who are wanting to find somebody to help them market their business. And then this person, the social media experts and influencers are the people who are trying to gain clients. So they're ones who are trying to sell their service to the small businesses. And so we're going to be using both of these today because both of these people um, are both of these people will be attending this matchmaking service. Maybe you have speakers or you have sponsors that are also in this participants list that wouldn't be attending this event. But in this case, all of our attendees will be attending. And then for fees. So the fee is basically saying how much it's going to cost to attend this matchmaking event. And you might have it to where your event, it costs money. So this matchmaking service is free, or you may have it to where like the, the social media experts or the people trying to sell their service would have to pay a fee but then the entrepreneurs and the small businesses get in for free. Um, whatever the case is, you can customize the fees based on what you're wanting to charge. Um, we're gonna leave it just zero because this is, a, this is not a free event, so we're gonna leave the fees, um, the fees as zero. And then number of seats. So we have two different options um, whenever it comes to matchmaking. We have a one-to-one -one service, which means that the entrepreneur is going to be just talking with one social media expert at a time, and then we have the one to many option, which is one entrepreneur is going to be listen, listening to many social media experts at a time. And this would apply to any matchmaking service. So if you are a um, if you are a big corporation listening to clients, it could be the same type of thing. One big co corporation to one client or one big corporation to 20 clients, whatever, whatever um, works best. And so for this one, we're going to do um, one entrepreneur to five. And so there'll be one person who's listening to the pitches and there'll be five people pitching per table. So that's what we'll do for this one. But this is customizable. So again, you can choose between one to one or one to many. And it is totally customizable to how many people you want to have pitching an idea per company per entrepreneur. And then maximum booking. So this is basically saying um, the, the good thing about this is that like you don't want to have uh, somebody who's pitching their idea. You don't want them to have the ability to go and and book like 200 meetings in one day. Just spam their content to anybody that will listen. Sometimes you might want to limit it and say, you know what, this, like you're only allowed to pitch your idea to six different companies. So you need to choose wisely of who you pitch to. Whatever the case is, um, you can customize this as well. And so we'll just say um, six. We'll just use that as the example. And so this is really customizing the experience of the matchmaking service saying, okay, how much is it going to cost to do the matchmaking service? What is it going to be? Is it going to be one to one? Is it going to be one to two, one to many, one to five, one to six, whatever the case is. And it's also saying, okay, how many people are we allowing to pitch their idea to how many different companies? And so it really, it really customizes the experience. It customizes it to make sure that both the entrepreneurs and the small businesses and the social media experts have an effective and productive matchmaking experience. And then this is the attachment section. So if you have like maybe a sponsor who's sponsoring the matchmaking service, you could um, attach it here. Or if um, there is a presentation that's associated with it, you can attach it there as well. And then once you're content with all this information, you'll just go and you'll click create activity. Then next you're gonna be brought to activity details. And our activity, our event is just one day. So it's March 1st, 2019. So you will click March 1st. Our event starts at nine o'clock in the morning. Um, so we'll make this be like a mid afternoon, like late, late morning type of event. So we'll have it start at 11 o'clock because um, we're going to plan some stuff for earlier in the morning. So we'll have this start at 11 and then we'll have it be a, let's have it be like a four hour event. So we'll have it end at 3 p.m. Capacity, 
Um, again, this is the type of thing where if you have unlimited seats available, then you can do however many you would like. But keep in mind how many people are legally allowed to be in that room according to like fire marshal standards. And so we'll say 250 for this example. And then again, location is um, you already have your location listed on the event page, but you're going to want to do like if you have a sub location within your location, like maybe, for example, this event is being held at Dallas Convention Center. So maybe this matchmaking events being held in Dallas Convention Center room C or whatever the case is. So we'll we'll click Dallas Convention Center room C. And then sessions. So for here, you're going to click how many sessions do you want to have for this matchmaking and how many breaks do you want to have? So you can have like 10 sessions and then 10 breaks, or you can customize this to have as many as you would like. So you could have 100 sessions with 10 breaks. We're just going to leave it at 10 and 10. And then event breaks. Um, you can click here and you can click if you want to have an event break. Maybe you want to have a lunch break. Um, maybe you want to have a coffee break, whatever, whatever the case is. And then right here is auto joined while registration. So this is saying, okay, whenever people register, are they automatically going to be joined into this session? And we're going to click yes. But maybe you want to have it to where like this is an upsell or this is like a, um, a premium feature and you don't want it to be automatically registered, then you would leave that unchecked. And then once you're content, you would click update activity. Just click OK. Um, alrighty, and then as you can see here, um, there is the activity sessions. And so um, it says that our first activity starts at 11 and then our last one ends at 250. And you can see where the breaks are taken into account as well. Um, really quickly, I'm going to go back to activity type. Um, this for event breaks, I forgot to add this, but you could do like one event break and then let's do create breaks. So we're going to do one break. And because of the fact that our, um, our matchmaking session is happening during lunch, let's create a lunch break for this. So um, let's say after um, three sessions, we'll do one break and we'll do like a... 30 minute break and we'll say it's lunch. So let's create that break and then update activity. And then as you can see here, now it actually has like a lunch break uh, built in. So our first session starts at 11, it ends at 11.10. Then there's a um, 10 minute break, then a second one then 10 minute break, then we have lunch. And so you can see here that um, you have your matchmaking activity session schedule here and it's, it's very, very easy and it says that there's lunch. And so then I'm gonna click update activity one more time. And then uh, that is it. That is how you add a matchmaking session to your event. So let's go and let's check it out and see how it looks on the landing page. So let's click website. And let's click menu. Let's go down to agenda. And then as you can see here, um, we have our matchmaking session on the landing page, totally viewable, and it's ready to go. And so that is how you create and you edit matchmaking sessions um, for your event.